Now a story for everyone who ever struggled in math class. I know I'm raising my hand. A high school teacher in Lakewood is changing how math is taught nationwide. On our 5 p.m. newscast, we showed you how kids were building houses for charity in geometry class. Well, just wait till you see what they're doing in algebra. CBS 4 Sean Boyd reports it has the attention of teachers everywhere. Algebra 1, I am told, is the most failed class in high schools across the country. But here at Green Mountain High School, a student turned teacher who failed algebra himself is taking a new approach, and it's working. So much so, teachers from all over the country are coming here to learn the secret to his success. Alex Atkinson will tell you he's one of the last guys you'd expect to become a teacher. Let alone a math teacher, other teachers travel from around the country to learn from. I was not the uh, most successful math student for sure. In truth, he failed Algebra 1 twice. 12 years later, he's revolutionizing it. I get to teach him vacuum lamination and also teach him exponential functions. After graduating college with a civil engineering degree, he came back to his alma mater to launch Amped on Algebra, a class that applies algorithms to running businesses like printing and woodworking. Oh, 19 and a half plus an eight. You know, in a business, we have our revenue, we have our cost, we set those slopes to differ. You're, you have fixed costs, so it starts a little bit higher. And you know, you get the intersection point, and all of a sudden, not to step on any math toes, but honestly, we've covered 60% of Algebra 1 right there. I love every single thing that we have done. Sherry Kane of Missouri, among more than a dozen math teachers learning the program at Green Mountain High School, which has invested in industry standard machinery. Not all learners are strong in a four wall classroom. A lot of them need to see it in action and put the hands on it. It gives kids a, a new introduction to. Uh, possible jobs that they might have later in the future that they never would have thought about. What I like to say is it takes all kinds of kinds. If you think about running a business, you don't want everybody with the same exact skill set. How many students do you have in your class that remind you of you? Oh, I have school? a lot. I have a lot of them. Yeah. Um, you know, I get a pull from that experience too, and I can just tell them, you know, been there, done that, got the t shirt. <laughs> a t shirt on which he proudly stamped English <laughs> is important, but math. Is important. -er. Yeah. <laughs> Amped on Algebra is now in 250 schools in 12 states, while Geometry and Construction, which I showed you at 5 o'clock, is in 700 schools in 16 states. Both programs were spearheaded by math teacher Scott Burke, who had Atkinson as a student in his first Geometry and Construction class, a class that Atkinson says changed his whole perspective on school. Pretty cool. In Lakewood, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first. Cool indeed, Sean. I'm not going to get one of those t shirts. And you know,